Have you ever accidentally locked yourself out from your most beautiful guitar with one of these combo locks? I'm gonna teach you today that it's a lot easier to pick it than you'd think. Welcome back troglodytes to the Troglays Guitar Show, your daily dose of guitar information. I want to preface this video by saying there's already another video that shows you how to do this, but for years I could not understand what this guy was doing. So I wanted to do a higher quality upload of it, as well as show you alternative ways to do it and just teach you about the lock in general. So all you need to pick one of these Gibson locks is a piece of paper. You don't need a lot, maybe a quarter of a page. And then you fold it up just like this until you're left with something like this. You can do it without it, but it just makes life easier. So right now, I do not know the combination to this lock. And I have my most expensive guitar inside, so the stakes are high. So I'm going to go ahead and do it, and then I'll explain it. All right, so Steve Howe's The Les Paul has been freed. The combination of 638. Now, how do you know I wasn't just messing around? I will go ahead and reset it, and now it is completely locked. So let me describe what's going on here. This piece of paper is to help you visualize it. So you want to wrap your piece of paper just like this to apply pressure to the left. And you need to hold on to that with just one hand because you're going to need this one to turn the wheels. Now, as you turn this, you should feel it move slightly to the left when you're on the correct number. You see how that just visibly moved? That's how we know that this one is seven. So let's wait for it on the middle one now. Sometimes it takes a few times around until you see it because it's not always super visible. So something felt good about zero. We'll have to see. I'm not sure on that. There we go. Eight, zero, seven. That's what it was. So sometimes you got to do a little bit of guessing, but it's definitely possible to do this. Just in case you think that was a fluke, let's do it one more time together. All right, this is now the new combination that has been set. And we will randomize it even further. So once again, you take this, you pull it to the left, and you wait for it to just slightly go. There we go, that one went. That one felt like it. That middle one's sometimes difficult. We'll have to see if I'm right. But if you think those two are right, you can just spin this and then that would tell you. So that one must not have been right. There we go. <laughs> sometimes you just get lucky guessing, but it was 601 that time. But if you're following this guide and you're still frustrated that it's not working, instead of leaving a dislike on my video, I'm going to try to help you with that too. This case is the reason why I decided to make this video today is because I've been spending all day trying to pick this lock. Now the problem with this lock is it's actually semi what damaged. You can see somebody tried to pry it up before because they had forgotten the code. So on a 90s era case like this one, not the 2000s one, it's not quite as visible. You're not going to see it move to the left as much. It's going to be more so just a very delicate tug, like a little dink. So you can use the same technique, but it's not going to be visible on the camera. You're just going to have to really feel for it. And you're going to get frustrated, but don't worry. Eventually, hopefully, you'll feel it. Why is this not working? Feeling discouraged, you can't figure it out, don't worry, you can still get your guitar out another way. And that would be just unscrewing this. So you could order a specialty tool bit to do that, or just grab yourself a pair of pliers and, you know, just go to town on it. It should come off with enough pressure once you start turning it. It's really easy to take them off. It's more of a permanent solution if you don't want to use this, because, let's face it, I mean, the reason why I can even make this video and why anybody commenting something like, oh, you're teaching me how to steal your Gibson guitars, why that point would be moot is, I mean, if somebody's stealing your guitar, they're actually just going to steal your case too. <laughs> the reason why Gibson discontinued these combo locks is because they said it keeps the innocent innocent, but it could be useful to keep the kids out of your expensive guitars. And in that case, yeah, I'm sorry for teaching them to pick your lock. 
And honestly, after I've played Combo Breaker with all the ones I have, some of them are just so worn down you can't feel it anymore. There's only 1,000 combinations that would work, and to test all of them, it would only take about six minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and manually try to break the combo on this one. So in order to do this, just set everything back to zero. Grab your piece of paper, make sure it's always ready to go. This is really just saving your fingers is all and scroll through all the numbers. So you go through this one. And none of those worked. So then you move this one to one. And then you scroll through all these to see if that combination works. Once you get back to zero, then you turn this to two. And once you're at nine here, you just switch over to one and then start the whole process over again. There we go, I happened to get lucky. <laughs> if you want me to be completely honest with you guys, I did not know the combination of that lock, but I had picked this case earlier today, but then I thought I would try it on the black case that I did the other samples on. But in the process of going in between them, I accidentally <laughs> forgot what it was. So since this is a client's guitar, I'm really happy I just combo broke that. And I got lucky. It was one, two, three, so I only had to try 123 different combinations. Why that thing opened when it was at 942, I don't know. That's just because this lock is just not in good shape in general. It's incredibly tedious to do it the thousand method way, but it will work eventually if nothing else in this video worked for you. And once you do have it set, I highly suggest resetting it to something you'll remember like zero, zero, zero. So to do that, you just press this to the right, and then you are now setting what you want it to be. So keep it pressed to the right, and I will reset this to zero, 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 I can't believe how long it took for me to realize this. I am now going to do this on every combo lock I get. So once you let go of this, that is now your new combination. So it's as easy as that to reset it once you know it. Just in case you're not interested in using your lock once you fixed it, on the zero position, you can actually see there's a small hole through it. That's how they came from the factory. They had a little red strip through them. So you could just run a piece of wire or something through that and then that would prevent those from ever moving again. So just to leave you guys with a fun little story here. The last time I did a guitar show, when I was transporting my guitars to and from, the combo lock on an SG Goddess, it got messed around with while we were moving the cases and somebody was coming to that show and they wanted to see that guitar. How embarrassing was that for me to tell them is, I'm sorry, I can't open the case. So what I ended up doing was I just pried it off because I really didn't want to lose a sale. Unfortunately, they weren't interested, so I broke that case for nothing. But hey, if only I would have made this video sooner, right? So I hope this helps you get back into your case. If you need more guidance, I offer private help sessions on my website, troglisguitarshow.com. All right, thank you, Troglodytes, for tuning in today, and we will see you tomorrow on the next one. Take care.